Okay, Rich, here we go. <clears throat> I'm recording this um, report here, the review of your report here. Um, you do a great job on your report, so I just want to we'll touch on a few things here. What my goal is to have you and a bunch of my other inspectors uploading their own reports to ISN and to HomeGage, which will free me up. Uh, reviewing everybody's reports is just sucking the life out of me. It's um, um, just tying up all my time and... and uh, um, so anyways, I, I need to get out and do more marketing, but I can't because I'm so busy reviewing reports all the time that I can't do anything else. So anyways, um, I just want to review this report with you and uh, we'll start right here on the customer page. Okay. And uh, so right here on the customer, I, I like to put and. Okay. Casey and Kerry. I like the and symbol better than the A and D. Very good. Go to report. Okay, Wisconsin. Always spell it out like you do there. That's good. Always spell out the, the address here. Good. Good job. All right. Uh, we'll go to uh, the home cover page is good. Oh, good there. Okay. We'll go here. That looks good. Looks good. Looks good. Mm. The house access was through a not sure what I'm that's how you get into the house. Come on, man. Cross space. So, you probably mean the crawl space access. Let me take a look at your photos. Okay, what do we got going here? Where's that access at? Lots of photos here. Here it is. Okay, so this is the access. Okay, this is going down to the basement. Okay, so it's kind of a basement area. That looks good. Okay. All right, I see what you're saying. So what we want to say here is... Of the access to below the home. I guess you would call that the access to the crawl space. Crawl space was through a covered, through a covered ladder, through. Well, uh, it just doesn't make sense to what you're saying. So let me reword it. The access to the crawl space was through a. a uh, A covered and on the side of the house covered. A um, through a roof covered covering through a roof covering on the side of the house. There was a ladder in the opening. Okay, great. And we'll just leave it at that. That sounds a little smoother. The access to the culture is through a roof covering on the side of the house. There was a ladder in the opening. The house crawl space was dry in overall satisfactory condition. No active seepage return. Okay, good. Floor structure, good. Access was to the bedroom. Okay, attic was good. Uh, roof sheathing was good. Um, standing on chimney appears to be old. It was dry at the time of the inspection. Okay, how did it look up top? Let's see, how did the uh, flashing look up top? Did you get up on the roof? You know. Um, I don't know if you got up on the roof of this house. Oh, you know, it doesn't look like you got on the roof. Let's see. The roof is in good sh good shape, good shingles. So I don't see the chimney. What was that? That looked like a patch job there. Okay, there's the chimney. 
It doesn't look bad. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. Good enough. So I'm doing. Uh -huh. There. Chimney. Flashing. Compared. Adequate. Oh, I need a Q. Appeared adequate. The chimney flashing appeared adequate. Okay. The exterior columns were good. The interior support columns appeared in satisfactory condition. Okay, so, alright. I understood. Understood. Okay, but, so, you moved your roof structure up. Okay? I want you to move it back down. Just leave it there. You leave it there because when you do use these, then it's out of place. Then you got the crawl space, you got the floor structure, then you go jump up to the attic and then back down to the columns. So just leave your rough structure down there, okay? It ain't going to hurt anything down there. Okay, I know you don't use these a whole lot and that's why you move the rough structure up, but just leave it down there. It ain't going to hurt nothing being down there. It just, when you don't, it gets everything out of place. You go from the rough structure, from the crawl space to the roof, then back down to the crawl space. So. That's why I had that down there to begin with. Capiche. Okay. Medical satisfactory. Good, good. All right, good. Exterior. Good. Good. Good job. Good. Great. Good comment. Good. Good. Yeah, nice. Sweet. Nice. Nice job. If you have a wood window curves you need a painting maintenance, yep. Good. Good job. Okay, good. Yeah, this don't need one. That's yeah. Um you don't need one here. And everybody everybody else says eighteen inches. Is twenty four is something that I don't know about? Or 18 inches. I mean, you said 18 inches and use a stoop or something and use a railing. I, I always thought it was 24 inches. I always, my, my rule of thumb is if it's three steps or more, it should have a railing. Okay. And this one's got two steps. This does not need a railing. Okay. So let's go back over here. That's my rule of thumb. All right. So we're just going to say the concrete. Stoop was in good condition. Boom. Okay. Uh -huh. The deck was good. Uh -huh. No hand railing. In. Now this one, yeah, now three or more steps. So yeah, this one could have a railing. Okay, good. But they, you know, if they fall, at least they got all these bushes to, you know, break the fall. All these plants won't be so hard. Okay, so. The deck will go support and the deck should be sealed stand as needed. Uh, no hand railings and steps. Okay, no hand railings and steps. Okay. There were no handrails on steps or deck. There were deck. Okay. Recommend installing hand railings and balusters as needed. Good. The balusters are not properly spaced. Well, the problem is there are no balusters, so it's not that it's not properly spaced. So now what deck is this? Is this another deck? Let me see. What do we got going here? How many decks are on this house? There's that. There's this deck here. And then there's... Okay, so that's part of that deck. I see what's going on here. <laughs> okay. So what we're going to put here is 
Um, so here, let me just do this. The upper section of the deck. The upper section of the deck was in satisfactory condition. Okay. Um, there were no balusters at the hand railings. At the hand railings. Okay. Balusters should be spaced no more than four inches apart. Four inches apart when installed, if installed. Well, just let me just put it like that. No baluster. There were no balusters at the hand railing. Balusters should be spaced no more than four inches apart for safety. I'll leave it at that. We don't need to say the children's going to fall off and break their neck. Okay, it's a safety concern for children. I don't. Everybody, I've been getting everybody from not saying that. So, yeah, I, it's just alarming. You know, we don't need to say kids are going to fall off. Pets, kids, adults. We just say that. You know, of course. So we got that. Okay, good. All right. Okay, rough covering was satisfactory. Good. The value satisfactory. Good. Uh, there was a patch on the roof and it appeared and said um, well it kind of appears funky man to me there was a patch on the roof um, okay let me just put it this way there was a patch on the roof that appeared um, that, a, that a, there was a patch on the roof that appeared to be sealed that was well I don't like the way it looks cosmetically there was a patch on the roof that appeared uh, there was a patch on the so what am I trying to say here okay there was a period and said they don't there was a patch on the roof the patch um, the patch should does not uh well it wasn't a professional patch job i can tell you that much the shingles I see they use the wrong shingle and everything man so there was a patch on the roof the patch although sealed here we go although oops, all though sealed the patch although sealed should could be um well, maybe I don't want to raise a stink here, but the patch, although sealed, does not, does not match the shingles on the roof. There we go. Okay, there was a patch on the roof. The patch, although sealed, does not match the shingles on the roof. A roofing, a roofing contractor. could repair a roofing contractor could repair for a better appearance could repair for a better appearance yeah there we go that sounds so much better there was a patch on the roof the patch although seal does not match the shingles on the roof a roofing contractor could repair for a better appearance I love it Man, that was a weasel word for sure. Okay, chimney flashing appeared in satisfactory condition. Edge flashing is good. Okay, chimney and flue appeared in that condition. The interior flue matter is not expected. The chimney sweep could, not should, could further evaluate and clean the chimney as needed. Could ensure a big difference there. Okay, the plumbing vent was in satisfactory condition. No gutters on the house. Good. Plumbing, the main waste room, uh -huh, uh -huh, good, looks good there. Waste room, place room, mm -hmm. okay, good. Okay, now we got the plumbing for the uh -huh, uh -huh, good. Great, okay, then we got the water heater, was good. Temperature pressure refill, yep, missing, good. Got the R on there, that's good. Uh, we got this um, 
main shut off at the valve good we got underground service and meter box appeared in satisfactory condition uh, okay electrical panel was in the door good okay now what do we got i'm gonna have to work you over on this electrical main main electrical panel okay that was good there was a missing cover screw on the main panel okay okay replace as required okay give it one of those spaces there okay there was a missing Romex wire connector in the electrical panel and so Romex connector is needed okay that's all you need to put you don't need to put this recommend license electrical contractor to further evaluate and repair as needed okay you don't need to put that you already got that R here and then this comment up here says all electrical repairs mentioned in the report should be conducted by a licensed electrician. Any further items found by electrician or in order repairs mentioned in the report should be responsible by yourself. So you don't need to say every time there's an electrical issue that you, you don't need to say have an electrician repair it. You know what I mean? So just remember that. Just put it in repair. It's in there summary. I mean, you know, yeah, very good. There were open conduit. Knockouts and electrical panel, uh, knockout covers could be installed. Knockout plugs, knockout plugs that's what I call them. knockout plugs. Uh, need to be installed, should need to be installed for safety. Knockout plugs should be installed. And I don't like, I don't, I, let's, let's just tone it down. Knockout plugs should be installed to fill open holes, to fill open holes. That sounds a little softer, better. Okay, and then we get rid of uh, recommend electrician to further. We can get rid of that. We just keep the R there. That should make you happy. Okay, there you go. There we go. Good, good. All right. All right. We're gonna breaker. Okay, that's good. Okay, several circuit breakers. Blah 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 blah. Okay, so here's what I want to do with those. Okay, so all of this mumbo jumbo. Remember, man, we got in trouble from that realtor. So I'm going to get rid of all that. The first part is good, but then we're going to get rid of that, and we're going to paste this. This is how I want that outlet to look for mismatched breakers. Several circuit breakers in the main panel are different of a different brand than panel manufacturer. Opinions vary from electrician to electrician on whether off-brand breakers are acceptable. And we're going to leave it at that. And we're going to take the R off of it. Okay? That's how I want it. We're not code inspectors. They look good. They fit. They're in there. They're not falling out. If they were falling out, you would mention it. So we just keep it at that. That's how I want that to look from now on. Just like that. Opinions vary. All right. Okay, good. Good. Okay, kitchen outlets on ground. The outlets should be up, updated. Updated, not upgraded. It should be updated. Updated to, GFC, to a GFCI outlet. Yep, very good. The bathroom outlets were not GFCI. I recommend updating these outlets to have GFCI protection. Very good. All exterior outlets were good. There were no exterior outlets. Smoke detectors. Yep. Yep. And I know you you moved your exterior down here. Yeah, I had it up here after there. Then I had exterior, interior, and then kitchen. So. I don't know why you moved it down there. Anyways, that's neither here nor there, I guess. I guess that don't really matter. Okay. Um, no, smoke checks were not present. Recommend saw new smoke checks before moving in the house. We, all, we always want to put that, um, uh, this should be installed in each, so it should be installed in each bedroom. There we go. Great. Good. Smoke detector, yep, good. Heating, good. And then we got electric baseboard heaters. Testing them, yep, good. Excellent. Good. Okay, we got ceilings. Walls. Subfloor is good, good. Kitchen cabinets are good. Bathroom counters are good, good, good job. Interior doors, uh, a couple of doors were not latching when closed. The striker pace may need to be adjusted. Very good. Windows were older, single pane windows went over all sides. A couple of windows were stuck from non-use and or humidity. And or humidity. OK. 
Okay, good. And then a few window frames are in need of painting maintenance, of the uh, need of frame maintenance and painting. But some a few window frames are in need of maintenance and painting. Frame, I don't know what that frame means. Of maintenance and painting, but we're in overall satisfaction. Let me change that to adequate condition. There we go. Oh, I'm missing my cue again. All right. There we go. Radar and test and not performed. Air quality mold test and not performed. Insulation and everything. Uh -huh. is not insulated. Okay. Um, this comment, I don't like that comment. Um, we don't insulate the floor between the floor joists. Okay, I'm not concerned about underneath the flooring. So what we care about is header boards, header boards and um, the, the foundation walls. So let's see what the crawl space looks like here. There's insulation there. I see insulation. Maybe not under there. I can't see if there's any insulation in the header boards, but anywhere, if that's where you'd want it, it's just in the header boards. I don't see any other insulation in any of the header boards. Let me see, that one look kind of, yeah, I don't see any insulation in the header boards. Okay, so let's do that. Okay. So when you get rid of this comment, I don't like that comment. So what we're going to do is we're only concerned about the header boards. Um... So we're going to say uh, there was no insulation header boards of crawl space. There we go. That's all we're going to say. We don't need an R or anything. We just want to say that. Okay. Vapor edge protection. Good comment. Yep. Good comment. All right. Gimbal vents were present. Yep. Top vents. Yep. Roof vents. Yep. Good. Bathroom exhaust sounds defended to the exterior of the home. Good. Great. Excellent job. Good job. We got um, refrigerator and freezer. No, 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 no. Okay, good. Uh -huh. The oven was not tested. Now it's good for inspection. Yeah, you know, I I test the ovens. I, I hold the handle. I hold the oven door handle. I don't let go of that handle. I just hold it and hold it and hold it until it, the oven turns on. I test it, and then when it turns off, I turn the oven off, and then I let go of the handle. I don't let go of the handle until I turn it off. Otherwise, I forget to turn it off, and then I get a client screaming like a week later, the seller, that I left the oven on, and I owe him $100 for electrical electricity because I left the oven on, all that crazy stuff. So we, I don't let go of the handle until I'm done with the ovens. Okay? Uh, you don't have to check them if you don't trust yourself to turn it off, or, or if you can't hang on to the oven door, I guess. But anyways, you hear me there. Let's go. I'll keep moving on here. Like it was good. Okay, washing the driver. Okay, so we got we just one insect. Okay, good. Okay, let's move. Let's move this to the second position. Let's move that one here, and then we'll do this one first. There's no evidence when you oh, good, and then this one second. So just move that around. Good. You got detached garage. Well, it's more of an outbuilding than a detached garage, but okay, here we go. Mm hmm Good. Good. Good, good comment. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. 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 Mm -hmm. I don't know if that is that actually damaged there or let me see. Let's see what you're talking about here, bud. Where's that garage at? Here it is, there it is, here it is. Let me see what you're talking about. I don't look like 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 serious damage. It don't look like damage at all, I'll tell you too. This looks like paint. It looks like it needs to be painted, man. What are you calling it damage for? Let's, let's go back here and let's correct this. Some areas other than have um, peeling paint and deterioration 
okay deterioration may occur okay deterioration will occur may occur if not corrected prep and paint as needed prep and paint as needed there you go clean that comment up a little bit all right so I was in a few areas good all right garage wall in satisfactory condition yep that's a nice looking shed there okay the garage doors are no longer oh I see there that kind of do it oh those are big doors they look bigger they're bigger than they look in the overall picture okay one garage door could not be opened due to stored items blocking the door yep good I'll recover yourself there buddy so we got we got here one garage door okay then we got this one garage service door satisfactory condition we got recommend adding weather stripping with me to the bottom of the service door yeah, okay whatever okay good okay we got some windows we're good we're good electrical switch and uh -huh. yep not grounded recommend grounding and installing gfci outlets good the smoke detector we don't care about smoke detectors in the garage or carbon monoxide detector okay yeah that's a garage we they don't need them so we take them off of there all right so that's a wrap all right good job rich so here's what i'm going to do is now when i'm done what we want to do is you want to review your report you always want to re i'm not going to review your reports anymore so you need to review them so what i do is i'll just go here and then i'll kind of review it and here you go and it's in a this is a html format kind of scroll down just make sure all you're viewing everything you're viewing is good everything's looking good make sure there's no pictures that are oversized out of place everything looks good let's see if there's anything that needs an R that you didn't put in the summary you know um good nice report nice job rich so here's what we're going to do so we got all this we'll check the summary see what's in the summary okay this uh the extension plate missing is um, a couple electrical things in the panel very good so now we're going to go to we're going to we got to upload it to we upload it to isn first when we put it in isn it's got to be in a pdf format okay so we're going to do it we go to report and then we're going to go to print for report for upload make sure you highlight that with the check mark there hit edit go to other and pdf right here this is where you change it this is where you upload the home gauge this is where you upload the isn and the pdf so once you've got that click there go to okay and then hit okay again all right and then we're going to go to 50 percent this way you can kind of see what it looks like looks nice nice cover photo of the lake very nice very nice looking so we go just scroll down this is what it looks like in a printed pages very nice look at that okay we got a big empty spot right there and that's because you got you, you turned your camera the other way you should have turned your camera the other way you should you know if you would have turned it the other way instead of rectangular the more you turn your pictures that way the it kind of messes things up so let, let me just go in here what i'm going to do real quick um what a couple of things i could do is one is i could crop this picture down like that and we'll see if that corrects it electrical where's electrical there yep it did uh, see now it's not that big gap that's moved up that looks a lot better all right good job all right click, click there click click there here click there click all right looking good 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 great yep, what happened there okay we just gotta yep good I'll go back this way kitchen appliances termite detached garage beautiful okay all right so here's what we got that's good we go back there 
your report number is 18655. So let's go to I'm going to search here 18655. We'll put that in there. We'll do a search. This is your ISN. Okay. Now it's not been paid for. So let me see. What was the client not there? Maybe the client wasn't present. The client not present. Okay. But he did sign. So that's a relief. Okay. So we're going to go here. We're going to go to. Um, this little blue dot on the right side is where you complete inspections. This is where you put the you click here, and then you'll put your report in here. So you got a this blue button here. It says select file upload. It's 18655. So we're gonna go click there. We're gonna go. You gotta go to documents, and then home gauge, then reports, and then you find it. Okay, we're gonna find it 18655. Um, right there it is. Great. I'm going to double click on that. There's your cover photo. Okay. And then this is uh, your PDF right here. This is what you want for ISN. So hit open. It's going to upload it to ISN. <sighs> All right. Good job. Now, the only time that may be an issue with you uploading it, and, and we're, we're gonna, we'll work, we'll have to, I'll have to get on your computer and tweak a few things before you actually start uploading them on your own. But um, the uh, is when we do septic and wells, um, when you got Shane helping you. So we'll, we'll have to, you know, or J James, like the, the other one there. So. Uh, so, anyways, when, it, when I guess maybe when there. Uh, We'll, we'll deal with that later. But anyways, that may be an issue. If you're doing them by yourself, it's not an issue. But when I'm in, but when uh, you split them up, there, it may we're going to have to figure something out there. So anyways, so we got the the report here. It's not paid for, so we got to go to view inspections. And now we're going to go to all. We click on all, so it shows up here. There it is. So we're going to send the report out. We're going to send it out, okay, and then we're going to just go right here and send report. Usually we would add attachments, but there's no attachments. So we're going to send report. Now when we click here, it's going to send the email out, and it's going to tell the client that you need to pay for this report before you can view it. So the client's going to have to make that credit card payment before you can view the report. So let's send it. All right. Very good. All righty. And now... That's done. So we can go back to view inspections. When he's when they viewed it, this is going to turn green where it says viewed. Okay. You can also go over here and check to see where they um, if they viewed it, it'll be green down here too. So, all right. So let's go back to home gauge. Okay. And we're going to upload. So we just hit upload, and we're going to create a customer. Username, and then we're going to create customer account. And we're going to click here. We're going to go to edit. We're going to go to other, and then there's home gauge HTML. And then we're going to OK, OK, and then we're going to upload it. OK, oh, there it is. OK. Yes. Now, being that it's not paid, we don't want to. Okay, being that it's not paid, we don't want to send this out. We only send this out through send emails if it's been paid. So we're not going to send this one out. Once they pay, then we'll go in here. And once you know that it's paid, then you can go in here and you can send emails. And yeah, then you click here and you click here. And then you click here. Okay, but we're not going to do that right now. Oh, this one, they got an extra email here too. So you want to manual, when there's an extra email, you got to click the extra email and then hit send report. But we're not going to do that. So we're just going to return without sending. All righty. Once they make payment, then we'll send the report out to them. Just keep an eye on that. Good job, Rich. We'll talk to you next time.